That's adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to BFL Reacts. Today we're doing Season 2, Episode 3 of Amphibia, Truck Stop Polly and a Caravan Named Desire. On my Season 2, Episode 1 reaction, a lot of you guys pointed out that Anne's eyes turned blue when she, you know, fought that big veggie monster. And I did notice that. I didn't comment on it because I, I thought it was kind of a stylistic thing. Like to d show that she was getting intense and serious in that moment. Apparently it happened in Season 1 as well. But just just to keep it real, I did not notice it in the first episode of the show. I only noticed it in the Season 2 premiere. So that's pretty interesting that, you know, whenever there's a, a big important moment like that, she... I don't know, she goes into some, court of, some sort of zone. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I'll keep an eye out on her eyes. And another thing, I saw on Twitter that the season, season 2 continues in March, which is super cool. That means we're going to catch up with the show. <laughs> and then we'll be able to watch weekly, which I'm looking forward to that. That'll be pretty cool. I'll, I'll be in the loop and in the know, same as everyone else at that point. I don't think that we're going to catch up to be able to see season or episode 12 when it airs. Maybe episode 13 will be caught up. I don't know. I could just like look at the calendar and figure it out, but we'll get there when we get there. And before we get into this video, I'd like to ask you guys to like and subscribe for more Amphibia content. And I'm, I'm super excited to catch up with this show, man. That, that's going to be fun. So let's get into this episode. And three, two, one. Yeah, there is a little bit of CGI on that uh, van or wagon for sure. Oh, it's just a disturbing creature. The usual. Well, hey! Maybe some story time will help me take my mind off it. Hmm. This one! I'll push it! We're driving off a cliff! Always hop hop! Can't say no to those eyes. Fergus Frog finds a. Hop hop! Hop hop! Ew. The tongue action is always disturbing to me. There's a sharp turn coming up on the bed. Oh my is. god. Don't raise hard. Right. Uh, uh, right. No left. <laughs> oh my god. Everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong right now. Oh my god, that would have killed Bessie instantly. This is what I get for letting you kids drive. Wait, no. This wasn't our fault. Uh-oh. Kind of Polly's fault. She is like a baby, though. Oh no, he's gonna fall asleep on the wheel. <laughs> you get run over? God, I got jump scared. Jesus. Uh, like, it is Polly's fault, but she is a little kid. It's It's kind of hard to put the blame on her. <laughs> oh my god. You guys back home. Yeah, but we're not at home. Clean this mess up. Also, I'm gonna need about 30 cups of coffee. <laughs> uh it's easy to get mad at Polly here, but it's also relatable. I've been the young one in my family before. I can sympathize with her. Whoa, a new friend! Sweeties! Home girl is talking to a ball. Aww. Is it just me or is she being extra annoying? I know. Zap tag? Aww. Like zap pest. They can't all be winners, okay? Yeah, that one was rough. When I wonder whether I should have left her with Mrs. Croker back home in Wardwood. Damn. Okay, you don't mean that. You're just a little frustrated. You're right, you're right. Oh, but of course she doesn't hear the apology. Uh, Here, hop up. Have some coffee. Whoa, Nelly! Damn, I need me some of that coffee. 
Oh, okay. Okay. I see where this is going. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. That's cursed. Oh god, give her her bow back. Ugh. Immediate regret. Oh, that was a familiar face. Without the bow, she's definitely getting a trucker hat like I wanted. Yes! Yes! We're trying to compensate by recreating our home like environment through familiar activities. Without taking into consideration the inability of your family to provide comfort at this juncture. <laughs> I love how they're all just very, very wise men and women. The big purple stone that was by the door here. Uh, maybe? Why? Because it weren't no stone, it was the egg of a rock. A giant flesh-eating ravenous bird. Is that bird gonna devour the first frog it sees once it hatches? Whoops. It should be in about five minutes now. <laughs> okay, I love the, the tight time frame. Yo, the truckers are gonna catch her up. From now on, call Speedy, me Speedy Joe. Speedy Joe. Do I have to? It help ya. <laughs> she must be at the truck stop. We gotta go back. Just eat that thing. Oh my gosh. That's mildly concerning. Hey, Sam! I'm right here! They're gonna pass him. Oh no. <laughs> Just punch it in the neck. Joe, what is this wool? Send her flying through the windshield. <laughs> oh. Yo. The sketchy lines on that look so good. That was awesome. <laughs> oh. They're pissed. Not in front of Speedy Joe. Sorry about the killer bird. Forget the killer bird. Oh, they're mad because they were scared. That's sweet. We were worried sick. Maybe you should have left me back in Wartwood. Huh. Heard all that, did you? Oh. I'd never leave you behind. Not ever. You're such a tough little tadpole. You forget you need a little loving occasionally. Yeah, it's easy to forget she's a baby. All right, that was a that was a pretty good one. Yeah, again, I love the sketchy lines on Polly as she w w was filled with electric power and flying through the air. That looked really good. I I'm just, I'm kind of a mark just for, like, sketchy art like that in general. Um, which the show does pretty often, uh, and, and I enjoy it every time it shows up. Um, I liked seeing the more sensitive and vulnerable side of Polly in this episode. It, we don't really get to see it all that much. Like I said, it is... It is pretty easy to forget that she's, you know, just a little kid. And definitely relatable. Um, you know, my sister is eight years older than me, so I was always the young one. And uh, as a kid, you know, even if it's not your intention, it's really easy to just be super annoying. <laughs> and piss everyone around you off when you're just trying to, I don't know, bring a degree of normalcy to life. It was uh, pretty interesting. I like that one a lot. Next one is A Caravan Named Desire, which thanks to... Let me get the name. I want to say James Wilson. Yep, James Wilson. Thanks to James Wilson, I know that this episode title is a reference to a 50s movie and a 40s play, maybe on Broadway, I'm not sure, named A Streetcar Named Desire. And I added it to my watch list. Might not get around to it soon, but I will at some point, James. So let's go ahead and get into this episode. And three, two, one, go. Hey, Ryan, you're gonna want to hydrate. That's okay. The dry swamp? It's still a swamp. How dry could it be? Welcome to the dry swamp. I mean, wouldn't it affect them worse? I never knew Hot Pop was such a thespian. Yep. Before I was a farm frog, your Hot Pop had dreams. Next slide, I Ooh. 
not the Beetlejuice sandworm that I was envisioning. Ooh, new frogs. Love to see it. Ooh, hey. acting troop. Hey. Thanks for your help out there. You know, your folks really shouldn't be out here on your own. I love her Have voice. You read Fear the Dry Swamp. You know that play? Know it? <laughs> I directed it. Ooh, in managing this acting troupe is she's thick. Game. Join our caravan. We I love her hair. I love her. And you know what they say: safety in numbers. We're in. And her voice. I think I already said that, though. <laughs> this is going to be a good one already, I can tell. Lots of fun characters. I am Francois, is he young? Like, uh, Sprig's age? Means he embodies a character on and off set. Duh! Pop is knowledgeable. Care to join me in my trailer? I'd love to pitch you our latest production. Would I? Hey, Pop Pop might make his dreams come true. I was in a school play once. It was awful, and this place is bringing back. Oh boy. That's adorable. Oh my god. I've got a complicated jigsaw puzzle with my name on it. Yes, my baby's yes. Okay, bye. I am an actor. That's so. What? You want to audition? Hark! For I am homeless! I am friendless! He's so extra. Stop. You're hitting me, but you're not knocking me out. Know what I mean? Okay, guess we're all done here, then. That was your cue to leave. Yikes, that was long. <laughs> He's still there. Sire, this is starting to get a little sad. Sad? Sad? I'll tell you what's sad. Sad is having a dream that will never come true. She's gonna like this monologue. Never be more than a vegetable farmer. I'd still rather be sad and have a dream than live life without one. Preach, brother. Now that's what I've been looking for. Theater is truth, and baby, you just served up a heaping spoonful. You got the lead part, huh? Oh, I'm looking forward to the final production. Hopefully, we get to see that. We're getting right into it. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so the next town's bank has two guards unarmed. We oh. wait till Hawkeye's big death scene, then take them out. Excuse me. Are they terrorists or just bank robbers? Renee, what, what's going on? We're trying to find the best way to rob this next town blind. Care for a drink? Oh, no, thank you. Wait, why? <laughs> why? Truth be told, there's not much coin in theater these days. Damn. Bunch of starving actors. We travel from town to town, and while people are transfixed by our amazing plays, blammo, we take what we deserve. Deserve. I love her. And just think about what this play means to you. You're the lead. Oh. Every dream has its price, am I right? Pop pop me down with it. Plays a distraction for a bank robbery. On one hand, that's awful. But on the other hand, we need to support the arts, right? <laughs> He's conflicted. Hop Pop's gonna throw. I am a common frog. No? My soul burns with the spirit of revolution! <laughs> the combat is kind of lacking. They could use better choreography. That's our cue. Ooh. Put his own dreams the parallels between his character. I see. Against justice. Against righteousness. They're robbing you blind. The jig is up, boys. Every frog for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the heel stuck in the head. That had to hurt. Wilhelm scream. Damn. That was that was a bar, man. Oh yeah. Now that's dramatic. Oops, kinda misjudged that arc. Damn. Philistines. 
Dude, calling it, her and the train robber are gonna team up in the future. And you're sure you didn't know nothing about this robbery beforehand. Scouts on her. Dude! She gonna narc? told you not to help them rob a bank. <laughs> She's joking. Yikes. <laughs> Good one, <Ethan. laughs> hey, Bob, we joined the feeder gang. Just like you! Uh oh. Damn, and throwing shade at <laughs> at the theater. That was a good one. So this was two really solid episodes again back to back. I was less interested in Sprig's uh little B plot going on, but the the hot pop story here was really really interesting to me. I mean, nothing too deep, really. It was, it was just fun. Like, you know, he, he, he made a sacrifice. But that's not really anything new for him. We saw him do that in the episode where he ran for mayor. He could have taken a big payout and thrown the match. But no, he, he tried his best to do what was right and still ended up losing anyways. So it's not really new for Hot Pop, but it was interesting to see that in this setting. It, it was much... uh much more out there. I, I don't remember the, the leader of the gang's name, but man, I loved her. She was she was so commanding whenever she was on screen. <laughs> I, I loved her voice and her design and just her whole character. I liked her a lot. I, I really do hope we see her again. And like I said, fantasy booking, I hope to see her and the, the guy that was the train robber team up and come in again in the future that'd be like a really fun team rocket duo <laughs> can't help but notice no update on the robot this time does that mean that they're trying to make us forget it oh well, i didn't see it this week so i forgot it existed that means it's coming up next episode i promise <laughs> let's see if we can get a hint by the the titles oilers pass and toad catcher that gives me no no hints. They're gonna pass through something, some kind of pass, obviously. <laughs> and Toadcatcher, um, that might be like a resistance-based episode, which was honestly what I kind of thought was going to be happening here. But then I was like, no, they're just robbing banks because they're thieves. But I am interested in seeing that. Warlers Pass sounds really interesting. So does Toadcatcher. I'll see you guys on the next episode. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm going to get right into it right now, actually. I'll see you guys then. Peace.